One of the questions I get asked the most is if WLED is compatible with In this video, I'll go over the simple setup process to get things connected, including your presets. First, you'll want to go into WLED, click on Configure, and then into Sync Interfaces. Scroll down and check the box that says Enable Device, and then give it a unique name, which I'll label Matrix. Once done, go ahead and hit save. Now, even though I will be using the 16 by 16 matrix panel for this tutorial, the process would be the exact same for LED strips or any other addressable lights. I also picked up a brand new controller that just launched a week ago that comes pre-installed with WLED, and because of its crazy small size, it's a perfect option to pair with the power bank. Next, make sure you have your device plugged in and ready to go. I have their Echo Dot 5th Gen, which has worked out great for me. We can now go ahead and load up the Alexa app and click on Devices. Then hit the plus icon near the top right and add device. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the list and choose Other. Then select Wi-Fi, and finally, Discover Devices. And at least for me, this step usually took about 1 or 2 minutes, but after scanning, it should find anything around you that could potentially be linked, which as you can see, includes our WLED device we named Matrix. I'll go ahead and select Matrix, and then hit Setup Device. You can add it to a group, or if you want to hit Skip, you're all set. I'll be going back to the devices and finding our newly added Matrix, and from the app, I can control basic functions such as on and off, brightness, or choosing what color. And finally, voice function will be able to work the exact same way, being able to control the same things. Turn matrix off. Turn matrix on. Turn matrix to green. Turn matrix to turquoise. So let's now move on to bringing over your presets. For this, go back into WLED, and you're first going to need to decide what animations and or colors you want. I'll be doing a simple, solid, warm glow for my first one, and once you have it all set, go to Presets, hit the plus preset button, I'll name this one Sunlight, and then hit Save. For my next one, I'll scroll down and choose one of my favorite animations, Dancing Shadows. I'll then select a different color before going back over to the Presets tab and doing the same thing, and this time I'll name it Shadows. From here, go back to the Alexa app and we'll scan for new devices just like before. After about a minute, you should see our two preset names show up that are ready to be added and can be controlled just like our previous example. Turn on shadows. Turn shadows to green. Turn on sunlight. Turn on shadows. So that about does it for this quick tutorial. I'll leave links to everything I use in the description as well as links to relevant other videos I've done, so make sure to check that out. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you have a blessed day.